here is exactly how to set up a website as a personal trainer looking to move online. So I'm going to go through all the steps that you need, the tools depending on your budget and how it fits in with the bigger picture. But first, why are you making a website? Any decision that you make has to have a reason for it, right? And this is the biggest sticking point that personal trainers make. They're like, right, I'm moving online. I need a website. That's step one. What would you say to a client who you knew wasn't making it to the gym and didn't know what their calories were? And they're calling you up and being like, I've just found out about this Alkaline. Should I get that instead of creatine monohydrate? You'd be like, sort your priorities out. So my question for you is, what problem are you trying to solve? How does this help you to get more leads, close more sales or coach more clients? And if you can't answer that, maybe you shouldn't be faffing about with a website. Oh, I hear you say, oh, it'll get me more clients. Okay, so what? what's your name? Ronald Bumgardner. Okay, so are you expecting people to just open up Google and go, Ronald Bumgardner fitness website, hire? It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So make sure that you don't put the cart before the horse. If you already have a steady stream of new leads bursting to work with you, then obviously be my guest, keep watching this video. Otherwise, you need to look at the rest of our channel, particularly the Blueprint 10K video, which I'll link at the end. So final reminder, a website will not get you more clients. But what should a website do? So as a personal trainer, a website needs to be a digital business card. It's somewhere that you send people to so that you can gather an email address. And to gather an email address, your site has to convey one message, which is, hello, I am a person that can solve your problem. So how do you do that? You link to your socials, to your videos, to your blog feed, to your content, and you have something that's enticing for them to put their email address into and receive it. The one that we recommend is the 14 day automated sales sequence. Again, we cover that in full detail in the video at the end. So here's our fitness website, very simple design. We collect opt-ins through a calorie calculator. 30,000 people have been through this list and the average time to sale is 14.7 days, magical number, which is why we recommend standardizing that experience to maximize the number of sales that you make. Anyway, we cover that separately, but how do you make a website as a personal trainer? The big principle here is make it easy for yourself. That was easy. So pretty much every decision that you make in business comes down to choosing between time or money. So what's your time budget? What's your money budget? And then make a decision off the back of it. Generally, if you choose tools that are very technical, it means that they're gonna be customizable, they'll be cheap, they'll be flexible, but they'll take some time to figure out how to get them working. Or if you choose something that's fresh out the box, it's not gonna be very customizable and it might be a bit more expensive, but it saves you time. Now, each year tech is improving and things are getting easier and easier, but that principle still generally applies. iPhone and Android are kind of the same thing. If you're a bit of a tech nerd and you like to mess around with the source code and customize it and stuff, Android's the one. But if you just want a phone that works out the box and you're happy to pay twice the price, choose an iPhone. So here are the options and I'm going to give you a framework so that you can make a decision yourself so that if after I've recorded this video, some new shiny software comes out and you're not sure how to weigh it up in your decision, you'll be able to do that. We also have our most up-to-date recommendations for software and tools and everything else in the free community in the link below. So you can go for all in one, bells and whistles, no host is needed, you don't need anything. You literally just pay the software provider once a month and they handle the whole thing for you. So all in one services, you pay a monthly fee and you get all the templates and the whole shebang and it all just works out the box. Then you've got the DIY options. These are where you need a web host and you do all of the design and plugins and everything yourself, but you get maximum customizability with that. However, with a DIY solution, if you have a technical problem, DIY solutions are much cheaper, but if you run into a technical problem, you're on your own. There's no tech support to speak to. Then got the third option for the real G's, for the real VIPs. And that's where you get the concierge service. The man meets you at the door and goes, hello, sir, how are you? And takes your bag and it gives you a, a fresh apple and puts a little bow on your head and you feel like a really pampered person. That is where you just outsource the entire thing. And you can go with that from someone on Fiverr who's gonna charge you probably a Fiverr up to a full web agency that might charge you four or five grand. As with everything, you get what you pay for, but start cheap and work it up. Don't just drop five grand into a website because it's not going to get you clients. So those are the three broad options. You've got all in one DIY or VIP concierge top G. Now, if you're not sure, just go for the all in one service. You have to start valuing your time as an online trainer. And a lot of PTs get wrapped up in knots trying to save like $20 a month and sinking hours into trying to cobble together their own crap version of it with loads of free integrations and things. And it will just get you in a mess. This shouldn't be hard. So don't make it hard. 
So every step of the process, make it easy for yourself. That was easy. With the design, don't just start with a blank white page and try and do the design yourself. I guarantee it'll look rubbish. So use the templates. Even for this part, you can get someone on Fiverr to just do it for you. But just bear in mind, you don't want to completely shirk all technical responsibility because at the end of the day, you're looking to set up an online business. So you do have to be willing to engage with technology at some point. We've covered the framework on how to choose. Now let's go through the specific tools. And remember, the only tools that we recommend are the ones that we've personally used for years. We don't really care about affiliate revenue it's pennies to be honest and we'd rather maintain our integrity and only recommend what we personally use so the first one that we use is ClickFunnels so there is a discount link in the description but the advantage of ClickFunnels is that it also handles your payment processing and your landing pages and your members area and even your email automation if you want to ClickFunnels is a monthly fee if you want you can assign your own custom domain to it which means that you could have yourname.com rather than clickfunnels.yourname.com and it's got a drag and drop editor so it's very visual you can create whatever you want to quite easily and there's a bunch of amazing training and they're very marketing focused so all the stuff that comes out of them is designed to optimize your conversion and maximize the number of sales that you make through your website there's also lots of conversion tested templates that you can use with ClickFunnels too so that would be our top recommendation but it can be a bit pricey if you're just starting out so I would also take a look at Podia this is a cheaper option and it's what we use for our fitness members sites and it looks really clean it's a lower month monthly cost than ClickFunnels. The downside, it's a bit less flexible, especially once you start running ads. Podia is designed around a member's site and that's the real focus of when you're using it. So it depends what you want out of your website. There's many other options as well. There's Squarespace and Wix and things which seem to be improving each year. I think they're fine, but we've not got any experience of them. Something to bear in mind with any all-in-one tool is that some of them try and go the whole hog and they try and build in email automation and CRM, like customer relationships relationship management and all these bells and whistles. Now remember, jack of all trades, master of none. So the wider and wider that you go, the less good it's gonna be at any individual thing but it saves you the ball ache of trying to do all those things separately. So for email automation, we would always recommend going down the route of getting a specialized email marketing system because email marketing is such a profitable part of your business that it makes sense to have a specialized thing that does that for you. So we recommend Active Campaign for that. Again, you can get a discount with the link below. We've used Active Campaign for years, very good for creating sophisticated automations and tagging and reliable email delivery and all that stuff. But we have a video on that, of course, so you can click on the link to find out more about email marketing. Those are the all-in-one options. Here are the DIY options. So the one that we use for our fitness website, propinfitness.com, is WordPress. It actually runs 30% of the internet. So it's highly adopted, very well supported, highly extensible, and it's relatively simple to use and to set up. So this is what it looks like on the front end and on the back end of the dashboard. There's no coding knowledge needed, but it is developer friendly. So if you are a developer or if you have one, I don't know why you're watching this if you are a developer, then you can play around with some of the stuff under the hood. WordPress is, as I say, it's extensible, it's free, but you will need hosting and a web domain, which I'll cover in a second. The second option is really only if you've got balls of steel, but this is Ghost. I absolutely love the look of Ghost. It's super fast, it's really clean, it's much more modern than WordPress, and it's great if blogging and writing is your primary medium, but it needs decent technical knowledge to get set up. It's relatively cheap, but you will also need hosting and a domain, but you can end up creating some really fast, beautiful websites with Ghost, but just enter with a pinch of caution. So for WordPress and Ghost, you need domain name, which is just the web address, and hosting, which is somewhere to store all the files. We recommend SiteGround or DreamHost. We've got discount links below for both of those. Very simple to set up, great support. Hopefully, once you've got it set up, you shouldn't have to touch it again as well. Third option, if you're thinking, oh, I really don't wanna faff around with hosting and all that stuff, Then you can have a look at Pineapple Builder. I've not had much experience with Pineapple Builder, but it looks pretty simple to use. There's literally a button that says create website and it's for a monthly fee, but it handles all of that stuff for you. Very drag and drop, very nice and clean and simple, but will probably lack the extensibility that something like ClickFunnels would have. So hopefully you've identified what it is that you need out of a website, what option you wanna go for, whether it's all in one, DIY or concierge, and you've decided whether you want to pay with money or with time. So next, here are the pages that you would need on a website. So the first one is having some kind of opt-in box. That is some way for somebody to give you their email address and for you to contact them in future and sell them your stuff. All the options I've mentioned have that in some form and in terms of what to actually give them, 
have a look at the video at the end. Next, you need an About Me page. It does not need to be a novel. It just needs to be a very simple page that's like, hello, this is me, here's my background. I help people who have this problem to achieve this goal using this method. Here's how to find out more. Leave it at that. The third thing on your website is some kind of content feed. This is optional, depends what whether you have just a one page website or if you're looking to use it as a way to store all of your content and have a blog feed and links to your channels and YouTube and all that stuff, but consider that in your choice of tool. And then the fourth option is a way for someone to contact you directly. If they're ready to be like, right, I wanna sign up for coaching with you right now, you want to make that obvious because there will be people who do find out about you through other means and then they Google you and they want to just get in touch directly and pay you money today. So you need to make that as easy as possible. So now you know whether or not you need a website, how it fits in with the big picture, what you need to do and what tools you need. And it's gonna be slightly different for each platform, but broadly they're all the same kind of interface now. It's drag and drop blocks onto a page. So you shouldn't need me to spoon feed you the guide on how to do that. And actually all of these tools, they are designed to be as user-friendly as possible because they want your money. So their documentation is incredible. It's really clear, their support staff are amazing. So just go with that, pick the tool that suits your needs and make it as easy as possible for yourself. So there is how to make a website as a personal trainer moving online. We've got step-by-step -step guides on all of the other things that I've mentioned there in email marketing and setting up your 14 day automated sales sequence and systems for your coaching and all that stuff on the rest of this channel. So have a look at that. To see how it all fits together, look at the Blueprint 10K video at the end of this. And if you want us to guide you through this stuff personally and help you to become a profitable online coach, we open a few slots each week where you can get in touch with us. So you can book in a call and we can see if it's something that we can help you with. Speak soon. All right, look, absolutely typical. Sometimes I record a video and then in the interim between having recorded it and waiting to publish it, I come across a new thing that I'm like, oh, this has fully rug pulled the entire purpose of the video. Luckily, it's not quite that bad, but I think it's worth an honorable mention to show you guys this. So what I would do is go on durable.co and it can generate you a website entirely using AI. So this is brilliant if you're just like, I don't wanna deal with any of the complex stuff. I literally just wanna press a button and have a clean shop window that's just a way for people to find me and get in touch with me. It does not have any of the bells and whistles at this point. I'm sure it'll develop things like that over time. But what it does, you put in what it is that you want out of a website. So let's say I am a coaching business. Say next, say lemon fitness. And it's literally generating an entire website for me using AI, which is mind blowing to be honest, given what they give you. It's $12 a month for this. You can see it's creating a map, a lead capture form, paragraph about the business, some images, and it looks pretty clean. So this is way better than something you might be able to try and design on your own. And it will fill in some stuff. You can regenerate the section or you can edit it yourself and customize it. It shows some of the services that you might offer under Lemon Fitness. And there we are and you can get in contact as well. Now, from looking at this, it does not allow you to integrate with any kind of email automation system. There is a CRM that's built in, but it's native to durable and it's not very flexible. So as I say, this is not a one size fix all solution. This is just something which will get you off the ground and just, if you're just like, I don't want any hassle, I just want a website up and running there's your option. Just while I'm mentioning pineapple, you might be overwhelmed by all of this and thinking, I don't want a blog feed and a payment processor and email automator and stuff. And I just want the bare minimum shop window. That's perfectly reasonable. You want something that if someone is knocking at your door now, urgently wanting to work with you, you need somewhere to be able to send them. And if that's all you want, bare minimum, meat and potatoes, brass tacks, then you can have a look at Card. So Card is just a single page website it is totally free for this. And then if you want any of the pro options, like having a lead capture form and this kind of stuff, it's $19 a year, super cheap. And that could be all you need if you're just looking for the absolute bare minimum. So have a look at card with two R's and that might be all you need. Honorable mention here, I'm not putting it in the leaderboard because I don't think it's a long-term option necessarily, but Take a look, it might fit your use case. 
you have made it to the end of this video, so I have a special gift for you. I need you to follow this very specific set of steps. So step one, click the subscribe button below. Step two, go to the description of this video and follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. I guarantee we will level up the quality of your Instagram feed, your Twitter feed, and therefore the quality of your thoughts and your bank account. Step three, click the link below that and join the Propane Inner Circle. You get free access to our seven days to 1K as an online coach program, as well as the online coaching blueprint. And then if you don't want to do any of that and you just want to speak to us directly to work with us, then click the link below that and you can book in a time slot to have a chat with one of the team. Speak soon.